a druid in psychologist clothing. I am very excited to finally have gotten this book. I've been reading it for the past week. E. Graham Howe's Secret Druidic Doctrine by Ian C. Edwards. Now, I first became aware of Ian C. Edwards' work when, uh, with his uh, Atramentus Press publishing of Being and Non-Being, his little book series there. And the first one's on Crowley's Book of the Law, which kind of interested me. I'm not a Thelemite or into Crowley that much, so, you know, it was curious. But then he put out his sequel, and that focused on Austin Osmond Spare, and that caught my attention, needless to say. But it wasn't until I saw this announced from Anathema Publishing that Dr. Ian C. Edwards, who's a psychologist, put out this study um, based on his doctoral dissertation on Eric Graham Howe, who was a very fascinating psychologist, but somewhat forgotten by history. Part of the reason for this, according to Dr. Edwards, is due to his anti-systematic approach, not wanting to get locked into a specific nomenclature and sort of ideology that you find in, in the systems of Jung and Freud. And if you're anything like me, then you'll probably appreciate the fact that what Graham Howe apparently is has done in his work is is be free from jargon to a great extent as well as free from systems themselves. Edwards writes, Howe did not condemn psychoanalysis, but rather refused to put his patients through the psychoanalytic filter when he felt that it would be detrimental to his patients' welfare. He was a gifted, analytically oriented therapist who was deeply committed to the well-being of his patients, and he was willing to burn his own boat and thereby sink into obscurity for the sake of his passengers. And I think that's a real staple of the magical way of thinking you would find in druidic and other esoterically oriented souls in our world. There's this uh, common preponderance of them to be perfectly content to do the good work they're doing and then pass from this world in peace, not having to build an edifice to themselves in the process. There's a foreword written by John Michael Greer, a brief one that's quite nice, especially as Greer, of course, is a, one of the major druidic figures of our day and a great researcher. I love uh, Edward's comment in the book, With Druidism, God is that which has no name, which transcends naming as even an occult grammological practice, which inscribes the nameless as the uncaused cause, the source of the sacred word, which is the self-infusion of nature, submerged in the druid's own mind, acting out of their unconscious, emanating phenomena as the sensory perceptual translation of the divine's own self-dispersal. So he's a really beautiful writer, Ian Edwards, and I look forward to having him on the podcast as soon as I finish the book, by hopefully next week, I'd say at this rate. Beautifully bound book, beautifully made, of course, as all the books are by Anathema Publishing and signed and numbered by the author in the front. Limited edition, of course, as, as always, with uh, Anathema Publishing, I believe, so a thousand copies for this uh, beautiful, beautiful book, as you can see. If I didn't have to re-record the audio for this, it would have been out yesterday, but fortunately I had to, so that means today you get my review of the book as well as Foolish Fish, who uh, if you don't follow his YouTube channel, you surely must, and you can uh, appreciate his uh, analysis and gushing over the, the production quality of, of this book and so many other beautiful books as well. One of the things that might seem daunting about reading a book on an unknown psychologist is the necessary use of much nomenclature from philosophy and the psychoanalytic tradition that may not be familiar to a lot of people. But the author really breaks down things such as phenomenology and other core con conceptual terms that are used, especially as it would help the reader understand Howe's understanding of these things and how he is situated uh, in the context of, of the broader philosophical and psychological tradition of his, of his day. The Art is Beautiful by the Black Monk, and uh, the book is typeset by Joseph Uccello, who we all know and love if you're familiar with occult publishing. Just gorgeous pages. And uh, a lot of great content. 
You should rush over to Anathema Publishing in Canada or Miskatonic Books in the States and grab yourself a copy before it sells out. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments so that I can uh, ask them of the author when uh, when we uh, do our podcast. We've been in re fairly regular contact since it's a, it's a very exciting work for me. I think there's a lot of need for within both our current understanding of psychology and uh, esotericism, especially the druidic reconstructions or resuscitations of that ethos today, to infuse them with a, a, a different texture than we've been limited to by some of the psychological and metaphysical writings. So this is an exciting infusion. And yeah, the silver end pages are... Yeah, they're just really beautiful, and the texture on them is nice. I'm not sure if you could see it with there with in the light, but yeah, just a overall beautiful little book. And the blue and the gold are a nice touch. The blue, gold, and silver are a nice combination. There's definitely uh, a lot of uh, post-structuralist approach and language used, so some familiarity with some of that is helpful, but again, not essential. Eric Graham Howe was known for his clarity and lucidity uh, in how he communicated. He was the founder of the famous Tavistock Clinic. So if you're interested in druidry or psychology, go get the book. Now uh, go check out Denny's review, as I will myself right now. <laughs>